Hi everyone, thank you all for tuning in. I know a lot of people have been asking, you know, how can I create multiple streams of income from home? How can I do this without having to, you know, open my own pockets, how to leverage other people's money, how to leverage just other situations to get to the next level. And so you've been asking and I'm here to answer some questions for you. So today I wanna share with you how you can be able to profit in Airbnb, how to get an Airbnb and doing this without having to own any property. So I'm going to bring forward with you to you, right? My business partner who's been killing it in the game, who's taught myself and a number of individuals step by step what we need to do to be successful in the Airbnb industry. And so I would love for you guys to hear from her first. So make sure to have your pen and paper out and pay attention because this is a game changer. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, look, guys, you've been asking me a lot about Airbnb lately, Turo and all those things today. I'm going to tell you how to get your first Airbnb without even owning the property. Now understand Airbnb is something that is going crazy since the pandemic, more and more people are less likely to stay in a hotel and more likely to stay in Airbnb that feels more like home, that they can bring their family to, that they can kind of just make it theirs while they're on vacation or on their trip or working from home, whatever the case may be. But the misconception is most people think that you actually have to own the property. That keeps a lot of people from moving forward or even discovering more about Airbnb because they think that they have to be the property owner. Well, today, I got you. We're going to jump into my computer and I'm going to show you exactly how you can get your first property on Airbnb without owning at all. Let's get it. Free to open an account. You don't have to do anything. You just register. You can register with your email. You can register with Facebook, whatever you choose to do. Now, I want to go here and show you something first. Let's just say my area is Houston, Texas, okay? Let's say I want to check in on Monday and I want to check out on Friday, okay? I'm going to tell them how many guests I have. Let's say I'm traveling with friends. It's going to be four of us, okay? Come in here. It's going to show you the places that are available. Now, you can come up top and you can do filters. You can tell them how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms. If you want it to be a verified place, if you want a super host, a super host is just someone who's been doing this for a long time. They have a bunch of reviews, right? You can tell them the amenities that you want, hot tub, parking, gym. If you want just a house, apartment, um, whatever you choose, right? It could be a boat, a campsite, pets. If you want to bring your dog, your cat with you, if you want English, right? You can do this globally. So it doesn't just have to be in the States, but we're just going to leave this very simple today. Right? So we're going to come down and let's just say we're looking, we have a budget. You can come here and do a price budget. So that what goes to show you that you can book something extremely cheap or something extremely expensive, right? So you don't have to have the big mansion to book out. You can have a small apartment and do this the same way. All right. So let's just say we're going to keep our price between $10 and nine, $101 for the night. That's per night. All right. So right here it says $84, $84. And now we can start looking into these properties. And I want you to think about that the whole time we're looking at these things, okay? Now, let's just say this is an apartment or a house. It looks maybe like a house, right? Angela is the host. We come here, shout out Angela. It's a one bedroom, two bedroom, full bath, two bath, two bedroom, has a pool, laundry. Now, if we open up this pool, this is an apartment complex. This is clearly not a house. This is actually an apartment. So this is perfect for the example. Here are the amenities at the apartment complex, right? So we're going to use this as an example for you guys to see. Now, let's just say Angela's charging us $85 a night. $85 a night. We have four guests. We're going to be staying from the 13th to the 17th. So that's four nights times $85. That's $340. The cleaning fee is $125 because you got to get someone to come and clean. And then the service fee is uh, 66 and the occupancy tax and fees is 79. So that's a total of 610. But let's just take this base price right here. At four nights, we're at 340. Now I wanna be able to go in here and I want to break this down and do some numbers with you. Let's see, where's my calculator? Dun, dun, dun. Here we go, all right, cool. Let's break this down, okay? So she's charging $85 a night for four nights, okay? So let's just say there's... 28 days in the month. Let's go 28 days times 85. That's $2,300. $2,300 a month if you book at 28 nights. Now, I know most people are going to be skeptical and they're going to say, what happens if I don't book it? Um, how, how do I pay the rent? Right? Things like that. Now, let's just say on this property that Angela has, the property is uh, $1,200. $1,300, $1,400 a month, right? Even at $1,400, if she books at 28 nights, she's already at $2,300. So 
So she's made profit on her property. Now you're gonna ask about the lights, you're gonna ask about Wi-Fi and cable. Even if the lights are $200 on the high end and the cable is $100 on the high end, she's still in profit for the month. Now let's just say this isn't her only property. Maybe she has two or three properties. Now she's netting over maybe $10,000 then after bills and things like that. You know, you wanna do the numbers, but I'm gonna keep this very simple, okay? So there you go, you can see it right there. But now you're thinking, okay, Rhonda, that's cool. How do I do it? Now, how you can do this is a few sites that I'm gonna give you for free. The first one is craigslist.com. Craigslist.com is exactly, it's free. You don't have to pay anything. So what you're gonna do is come to Craigslist, go to housing, all right? You're gonna go to housing and just type in apartment. Come up here to apartment. You can type it in here and hit the search button and it's gonna pull up apartments for you, right? You can find places. You can find places that have discounts or whatever the case may be. So I'm just gonna try to find a really nice apartment for you guys so we can uh, kind of do this, okay? Here we go, so 1170, a three bedroom affordable quality, three bedroom apartment available today. This is it right here, right? Now we got three bedrooms over here. At this house, we only had two bedrooms, two bedrooms. We're gonna pull it back up so you guys can see it. One bedroom, one bedroom, two baths. So over here, we have a three bedroom and I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna have two baths. So three bedroom, two baths and the rent is 1170. Now your rent's 1170, and remember we said we were doing it $85. $85 times 28 days, that's 2380. Now let's just take our rent out. We made a profit of 1210 for the month. Again, take out your lights, take out your uh, energy bill. We're still at $1,000 for the month. $1,000 for the month. Now you can change these rates for the weekend. You can raise them for the holidays. You can do whatever you want. But now this is a two bedroom. This is a three bedroom. So we can probably get a little bit more on the three bedroom anyways, right? So now you can come to Craigslist and you can look for apartments. You can find an apartment. You don't have to own the property to be able to put it on Airbnb. Now, the one thing I will tell you is that you want to make sure that you check with the complex first to make sure that they allow these things and you can get more of that information. I'll leave some information that for that below in the description but you can get an apartment. Now let's think about a house, right? Let's go and look at a house. You go right back. There's another site called Zillow.com. Zillow.com is actually free. You just set up an account and let's just go Houston, right? Houston, Texas, you come in here and you're gonna come up here for rent. You don't want sell, you don't want sold, you wanna go for rent. And let's just do a two bedroom, two bath, go done. And let's just save that search, right? So you got 1,400, 2,100, 16, 11, 25, two bedroom, two bath, right? This is updated today. Here you go, right? This is, a, this is like a, this apartment, right? So I don't wanna use this one. I wanna look for an actual house, an actual house. Let's see if we can find a house. All right, here you go. This is just an example, okay guys? So this is a house, $1,400, three bedroom, two bath. Now this is a house. Let's see if we can find a house on here. We'll go back up to the filters and we'll just choose house to make it easy for us. We're gonna go house. So now you see it went from 30, 300 to 73. If I take that off, you got 300 plus. If I go house, it's only 73. So that goes to show you that not a lot of people are doing houses because they probably don't know the secret, okay? So here's a house, six guests, two bedroom, two bath, 67. Uh, this one's luxury downtown house, two bedroom, two bath. Uh, let's see, let's see. This is a tiny house. 94, 95, all right? So you guys have seen it, two bedrooms, three bedroom, three bath. That's crazy, that's a big house. Three bedrooms, I don't know why they have zero baths, that's just weird. All right, let's just see this one right here. It's a house, it has nice, they've decorated it really well, and I'll show you how to do that as well. I'll save that for another video. But here's the house, okay? They got a great, amazing theme going on. You look at this, you're like, okay, this is great. I like it, I wanna book it, okay? If you wanna book this property, it's going to cost you $96 a night. $96 for nights, you have the cleaning fee, you got all these fees, it's gonna end up being $700 for the four nights. Now, of course, you're gonna make some of this money as well off the cleaning fee and things like that, but I'm keeping this simple so that it doesn't confuse you, okay? So now this is a house. $96 a night, if we come back to our house over here for $14.50, again, for, uh, $96 times 28 days, $26.88, take off our $14.50 for our rental house, we've made a profit of $12.38, take off our lights, 
take off our cable. We're still in profit a thousand dollars. Now guys, these are just ballpark numbers. These aren't exact and I'm pretty sure you can find other deals and things like that. Today, I just really want to break down to you how easy it is to get an Airbnb property without owning it. You don't have to own the house. You don't have to own the apartment. You can do what's called rental arbitrage, meaning that you rent something, you pay the note, you pay the mortgage. You can find a landlord who's tired, a landlord who's just looking to get the rent. And you can let them know, hey, look, I'm going to keep up with this property. I'm going to have a cleaning crew. I'm going to have insurance on the property. I'm going to take care of it because I'm going to have guests coming in and out. And I'm going to keep the property good for you. Whereas somebody who's a regular tenant, they're going to come in. They're going to put holes in the wall. They're going to stain the carpets. They're going to just run the house into the ground for the duration of their lease. But I'm going to be totally different. And you'll be surprised how many landlords will say, okay, they're with that, right? And a lot of uh, apartment complex, they think about it like this. And our units are going to be empty if we don't put anybody in it. So why would we turn down money if someone's saying, hey, as long as I pay the rent, don't worry about it. I'm good. If my rent is $1,400 a month, I'm going to pay that. Okay. But you have to, you know, get that permission from the apartment complex just to make sure that it's okay. And again, I'm going to give you that information. This is going to be an ongoing series that I will save in my playlist so that you guys can get the whole play. So if you like this video, if you enjoyed it, I want you to hit the thumbs up, right? Leave a comment in the description. Let me know what you want to know more about. Okay, I'm really going to start diving into this Airbnb and Turo because you guys have been asking about it. So I'm going to do my best to make sure I bring the best information for you. And look, guys, if you want to really, really get into it, I just opened up 20 spots in my mentorship program where you're going to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. You're going to be able to be inside of my network and my platform and be able to get access to everything in real time. Courses, um, spreadsheets, you're going to get calls, you're going to get mentorship, you're going to get all those things. So I'm going to leave a link for that in the description as well. And if you're interested, I'll see you on the inside.